Tamara Vernett has been in the foster care system for five years, most of them here at Great Oaks Village in Orlando. She's hitting a milestone, finishing high school and turning 18, the usual age for leaving the foster care system. She thinks she is ready. If you're prepared, it's not hard at all because there's like a lot of things, life skills that they teach you. Maybe, but as a group, foster care youngsters suddenly on their own do not do well. Many are homeless, young women become pregnant way too early and not, they're not able to take care of them themselves, let alone a family. Uh, much higher rates of uh, you know, poor health and incarceration. Tamara has seen it. A couple of people that I used to live with, at first they were there, they were doing good, and then when they leave, it's just like, oh, by the way, I'm pregnant, or you know, stuff like that. It's a reality not lost either on Anthony, who was turning 18 after three years in a group home. When I'm downtown or wherever I'm at, like I see a lot of homeless people. It's like, it's something I don't want to see myself in two years, five years, whenever. A new law passed with only one dissenting vote in the legislature and signed by the governor in June, extends the state foster care system to people until they're 21, if they want it. You can opt in and out, really not a limit, because a lot of times at 18, young people say, yeah, I've kind of had it with this, I'm gonna try it on my own. And this gives them the opportunity to come back and say, you know, I really need a, a little bit of help and they can do that more than one time. To stay in the system, youths will need to be part of a recognized program. And in Central Florida, they have a new option. This summer, contractors and volunteers put the finishing touches on renovations to a former crisis nursery in the Pine Hills neighborhood. The Children's Home Society's transitional living facility is called the Fane House for its primary benefactor, former NFL player Jeff Fane. He was adopted as an infant, went on to play college and pro football, and to be a successful businessman who wants to give back. You know, you have a thousand kids come through here. If, if one changes, you know, changes their life forever, it's completely worth it. Up to 10 youths at a time will have their own rooms with amenities precious to kids used to group homes. Every room have their own bathroom and then they're gonna add closet and they're gonna have this and that in the room. I thought that was great. It will have a common living room, dining area, and an open kitchen. We can't even like go into the kitchen and like go into the fridge and just grab something to eat, you know, or cook something. It's more than just a nice place to crash. Fane House is going to give them life skills, educational skills, vocational skills, uh, you name it. They're going to give these children everything that a, a more traditional family would have given them before they go out on their own. The Fane House is, gives people hope, um, that it gives them the opportunity to know people care about them, people want them to do well. It feels right for Anthony. He will be their first resident when the Fane House opens this fall. Them being there for me, I guess, can really help because, you know, everyone, everyone kind of needs that push. And Tamara, as she chooses her path. I might end up going over there one day because I, I love it. Everybody needs somebody that gives them the help, the attention, and, you know, encouragement. Help is great. Everybody needs it, even like old people. <laughs>